Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I have my comic book cover picks of the week for February 23rd, 2022. And I take a little time to do these because I look at all covers, I try to look as many sources as I can, and even at that I miss some covers every week. So I try to do as good a job as I can. Now my runner-up pick for the week is Step by Bloody Step. Um, and this is the Aventau, um limited virgin variant to 400 and you know it's going you know around 50 bucks on ebay right now uh, i like it the best because it reminds me more like of an anime cover and if you don't know this comic it's by image and there's no dialogue in this whole book and uh it's sort of you know the, i don't want to say it's a gimmick but it's been publicized as being you know a silent book and um you know i, I think it's an interesting concept it's been done a little bit before um, but we'll see how how they pull it off i haven't read it yet but i'm looking for this cover and there's some other covers capullo's got a 1 in 50 that's a little bit more expensive but for my money this is the best looking uh one of the bunch and uh it's a cool book and i'm hoping to find it um uh, along with the other five uh my top five picks so moving on to number five so this is x deaths of wolverine number three and every week one of these covers, either Wives or Deaths, is in my top five because they put a lot of great cover artists on these series, right? And Wolverine is such a iconic character to do that these artists really, I think, bring out the best of themselves doing a Wolverine cover. And this is the Christian Ward variant cover. And now, this is not a, a ratio variant, so it's bringing between five and seven dollars delivered on eBay. And so it's not an expensive book, but it's definitely cool looking and it's a different take on the character. And personally, I love when artists do something a little different. And this week I was actually looking for something different uh, to try to, you know, um, not do the same covers over and over. I've seen, you know, especially with Spider-Man and Venom, they do the same poses. Um, Ghost Rider 1 came out this week. Uh, with tons of fire and, and chains and that stuff's been done before so you know um you know if they do something a little different that's kind of what i'm looking for right now is i don't want my collection to be so stale uh, because again these are books i'm buying for my personal collection you know i don't want to have the same cover a hundred different times so you know i want it to look different unique and uh so here we go um this one definitely fits that bill number four super massive number one this is the Livio uh, Ramondelli cover. Uh, again, this one's limited to 300. There's some other covers out there uh, that's either a limited uh, based on ratio or have different numbers um, in terms of uh, availability. Uh, this is, you know, uh, in the Radiant Black universe. So these are uh, characters all occupying uh, that uh, universe. And this is the first appearance of Rogue Sun. Uh, which is the bottom character there and so uh, this one's limited to 300 um, and ebay sells around 35 dollars and again there is some speculation on this book obviously with a new character you're going to have people just buying it for that purpose alone um, and it's a one shot so this isn't an ongoing so i think you're going to see um, some play here i do think this cover is very nice um my favorite of, of all the covers but there's many covers i believe there's 10 or 12 covers for this book so again it's a little bit of a spec book um but i do think um, people really like this universe they really like this character uh and the first appearance you know and he looks kind of like boba fett doesn't hurt uh number three miles morales spider-man number 35 this is a Derek chu cover b version variant number or limited to a thousand um you know not a lot's been sold because I believe this one's delayed a little bit. Uh, I do see pre-sells going for 35 bucks or more. Um, this is one that I think I'll wait a little bit on. I'm not going to just pre-order it for 35. I think it, it could come down a little bit. Um, that's been the trend lately with pre-orders. Um, people get in early and paying a little bit more than what people are doing later on. In fact, there's a book on this list that's exactly like that. Um, so but i like this cover you know it reminds me a little of the raza variant you know just something unique and different for miles miles can pull off some of this i like the sneakers as well so very cool take on miles miles can can do these kind of covers in his sleep 
And I like when artists kind of do these kind of covers with them. All right, moving on to number two. Um, Electra, Black, White, and Blood, number two. The John Boy Myers cover. This is not a rare ratio variant. It's only bringing five or ten dollars on eBay, but I do think for this week it was such a great representation of the character. Um, just a lot of great uh, movement and um, I, what I call like a, almost like a it's not anime style, but I could definitely see a cartoon based on the style of this character that I would really want to watch. And that's what it really drew me into it was this looks like an animated character that I want to go watch and do something cool. And that's what this uh, you know cover reminded me of, something I'd want to go watch. So hopefully if they turn Electra into an actual character on TV soon, uh, in, a, in a cartoon for example, this would be the style I would like to see what it looks like. Great cover. It's not a virgin, so the, it does have trade dress. I would wish they would, you know, release this as a as a virgin variant, maybe on the trade or something. I don't know, but it would be great just to see this image as clean as this right here. And again, sometimes I get images before uh, I get, you know, I, I I do the get the image and I realize, oh, it's not a trade or it's not a, a virgin. Um, but you know, getting a, a good clean image sometimes is tough. I don't like stealing like uh, auction photos, for example, to to do to do this. So, um, but you can just see how good the artwork is on this cover. Um, and he's a great artist, so I really enjoy his work. And number one, here we go. Um, this is Dark Ages by Marvel, number five, the Ryan Stegman cover. And all these Stegman Dark Age books are, you know, pretty pricey. Now this one's been really interesting because. Pre-sale, it was pretty high. They've come down now, bringing 35. There's some on eBay right now for auction that might even go lower than that. So 35 to 80 is this huge kind of um, range. And I think it's one of those things that um, you're going to see in this variant universe now that we live in. Um, people get really all over YouTube, you know, buy, you know, uh, pre-order this, pre-order that. And everyone's out pre-ordering stuff at 50 75 80 dollars and then when they actually hit you can get them for 25 30 bucks um and that's happening so often now that i'm wondering if the pre-orders are sort of really drop on some of these books because they're not really bringing a ton after they they hit um you have something hit really hot once in a while but in general a majority of them don't take off right away now there's been covers that's hit two years you know two or three years later so again I'm not saying you shouldn't pre-order but this is a good example of a book where it's got a great cover it's got a great artist the one in 50s in this series have done pretty well so I could see why people really pre-ordered it but you know um, this is one of those ones you kind of wait on as a collector uh, someone who's buying a lot of books for personal collection um, you know I, I do play some games on you know should I pre-order or should I wait and it's a tough call sometimes because, you know, if I don't pre-order a book like that last Black Panther book that just came out, you know, now I'm paying $400 for it if I really want to get it. Um, and that's pretty, that's a pretty tough price point. Um, but, you know, if that book went down from the pre-order price down to like $25, you know, that saved me a lot of money. So it's a game we have to play. So I just want to call that out because I, I really like this cover. Obviously, it's going to be a book that I look to, to pick up as a Spider-Man fan. However, I definitely um, glad I didn't pre-order it this time around. So that's the picks of the week. Hope you guys enjoy them. Um, hopefully, you can share with me, you know, covers you like this week, which ones you picked up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.